As a child, she was always the biggest kid in the room. Her earliest memories were of being different, of standing out in a crowd, not because of her radiant smile or sparkling eyes, but because of her size. Her name was Emma, and she was a child of obesity. Emma's mother, a kind-hearted woman was also large in size. She loved her daughter, and in her eyes, Emma was perfect just the way she was. However, she was unaware of the concept of a healthy diet. Her love often translated into generous portions of food, rich in taste but lacking in nutritional value. The dinner table was always filled with laughter, love, and heaps of comfort food. Emma's world was one where love was measured in the amount of food on your plate. It was a world where the term healthy eating was unheard of, where the concept of portion control was as foreign as a distant land. As Emma grew older, her size became a challenge. The physical difficulties were apparent, of course. The simplest of tasks, like climbing a flight of stairs or running to catch a bus, became Herculean tasks. But it wasn't just the physical challenges that troubled Emma. The emotional toll was equally heavy. The teasing and the stares, the whispers behind her back, the insensitive comments, they all weighed on her like a thousand pounds. Emma often found herself questioning why she was different. Why couldn't she be like the other girls? The ones who could wear pretty dresses, who could run around without getting winded, who didn't have to face the constant judgment. But she also believed that this was the hand she was dealt. She was born into a family where being overweight was the norm. She grew up in an environment where food was love and portion sizes were generous. She was a product of her upbringing and she believed that her size, her weight, was her destiny. She grew up believing her size was her destiny. One ordinary day, an extraordinary encounter changed her life. It was a day like any other. The sun was shining, the birds were singing. She was making her usual stroll to the corner store when she felt a tap on her shoulder. Turning around, she found herself face to face with a man whose physique was the stark contrast of her own. This was a man who lived and breathed fitness, an embodiment of strength and health. He introduced himself as a personal trainer. With a gentle smile, he extended his hand, revealing a shiny gym pass. He offered it to her along with an invitation for a few free training sessions. He had seen her around, he said, and believed he could help her make a change. Her initial reaction was one of skepticism. She had spent a lifetime in a body that she had come to accept as unchangeable, a part of her identity that was as fixed as her eye color or her height. But something about his earnestness, his unwavering belief in her potential, made her pause. This man, a stranger, saw something in her that she had long stopped searching for. Possibility. He was persistent, undeterred by her hesitations. He told her stories of transformations he'd witnessed, of people just like her who had turned their lives around. He spoke of the power of commitment, of the strength that comes from within, of the joy of achieving what once seemed impossible. His words painted a picture of a life she had never dared to imagine. The path he was offering was not an easy one. It would require effort, sweat, and tears. It would require her to challenge everything she thought she knew about herself. But at the end of it, he promised, was a version of her she had never met, a healthier, stronger, happier self. With nothing to lose but weight, she decided to take a chance. The journey to a thousand miles starts with a single step, and hers started at the gym. The gym, a place of transformation, a battlefield for the body and mind. It was here that she took her first steps towards a new life. She was a stranger in an alien land, surrounded by the hum of treadmills and the clang of weights. The air was thick with determination and the scent of hard work, a fragrance unfamiliar yet oddly compelling. Her first few workouts were a struggle. The weight seemed heavier than she could bear, the treadmill faster than she could run. Every muscle in her body screamed in protest. Every breath felt like a battle won. She was pushed to her limits, physically drained, emotionally exhausted. The pain was real, and it was relentless. But so was she. She was not a quitter. She may have been bruised, but she was not broken. With each passing day, she pushed a little harder, ran a little further, lifted a little heavier. She embraced the pain, used it as fuel for her determination. The exhaustion, the sore muscles, 
the sweat-drenched clothes. They were all badges of honor, proof of her commitment, her resolve. There were moments of doubt, of course, moments when she questioned her ability, her strength, moments when giving up seemed like the easier path. But she remembered the trainer's words, remembered the promise she had made to herself. She had come too far to turn back now. She found strength in her struggle, power in her pain. She discovered a resilience she never knew she possessed. Every grueling workout, every bead of sweat, every aching muscle was a step closer to her goal, a step further from her past. Her journey was not easy. She faced challenges, encountered obstacles, but she kept moving forward. She was on a path of change, a path of self-improvement, and she was not alone. She had her trainer by her side, guiding her, pushing her, believing in her even when she doubted herself. She was tired, she was sore, but she was not defeated. With sweat and determination, she started to see progress. The beginning of her transformation was not immediate. It was a gradual process, but every day brought her one step closer to her goal. She began to make changes in her diet, replacing unhealthy snacks with fruits and vegetables. She traded sodas for water and learned to appreciate the natural sweetness of a ripe apple or a handful of fresh berries. It was a change that was hard at first, but soon became a habit. And with this habit, she found herself feeling more energetic, more alive. She also started to work out regularly. Initially, the gym was a foreign place, a world filled with machines she didn't know how to use, and people who seemed to know exactly what they were doing. But she didn't let that stop her. She pushed through the discomfort, the awkwardness, and the initial physical strain. Every day she would wake up before the sun, tie up her shoes, and hit the gym. She ran on the treadmill, lifted weights, took classes, and learned to push her body in ways she never thought possible. The workouts were grueling, and there were days when she wanted to quit. But she didn't. She kept going, kept pushing, and slowly the pounds started to drop. Every week she would step on the scale and see a lower number. It was a small victory, but each one filled her with a sense of accomplishment. She began to see changes in her body. Her clothes started to fit differently. She noticed muscle tone where there used to be flab. She could run farther, lift heavier, and do more than she ever could before. The transformation was not just physical, but mental as well. She learned to love her body, not for its size, but for its strength and resilience. She gained confidence, not from the number on the scale, but from the knowledge that she could push her body and mind beyond what she thought was possible. Every drop of sweat was a step closer to her goal. And with each step, she was transforming, not just into a healthier version of herself, but into a stronger, more confident woman. As her body transformed, so did her life. Each day brought newfound energy, confidence and a sense of accomplishment. As the pounds melted away, so did her insecurities. She felt lighter, not just physically but emotionally too. She could now walk into a room and feel the confidence radiating from within, a feeling she had never experienced before in her life. Her health improved dramatically. She no longer felt the constant fatigue and lethargy that had been her constant companions. Her skin glowed, her eyes sparkled, and her smile was brighter than ever. She was no longer just surviving, she was thriving. Her transformation was not just internal. People around her began to notice the change too. Compliments started to pour in, not just about her physical appearance, but also about the aura of positivity that she now exuded. It was as if she was a beacon of light, inspiring everyone around her. Her family and friends were amazed at her transformation. They saw her dedication, her commitment and her perseverance, and they were inspired. They started to make changes in their own lives, encouraged by her journey. She had become a role model, a beacon of hope for those who thought it was too late to change. Her social life also took a turn for the better. She found herself being more outgoing, making new friends, and even inspiring others to start their own fitness journeys. She had become an advocate for healthy living, sharing her experiences and encouraging others to take the first step towards a healthier life. The transformation was not just about her body, it was about her entire life. She found a new purpose, a new passion, 
and a new perspective on life. She realized that she was not defined by her past or by her weight. She was defined by her strength, her courage, and her determination to change. She was not just losing weight, she was gaining a whole new life. Her journey was a testament to the power of determination, the strength of will, and the beauty of transformation. It was a story of a woman who chose to change, not just her body, but her entire life. She had started her journey feeling like a prisoner in her own body, but now she felt free. Imagine for a moment the feeling of being trapped, chained, and then suddenly, with perseverance, hard work, and a whole lot of self-love, breaking free. This was her triumph, her moment of victory. She had turned her life around, and she was now the master of her own destiny. This was not an overnight success. It required sweat, tears, and the will to keep going even when the odds seemed stacked against her. There were days when she wanted to give up, days when she questioned her abilities. But she didn't let those doubts consume her. She didn't let the fear of failure stop her from pursuing her goal. She had consistently shown up at the gym, pushed herself beyond her limits, changed her entire diet, and embraced a healthier lifestyle. She had become her own cheerleader, her own source of motivation. Every drop of sweat, every sore muscle, every moment of exhaustion was a testament to her determination. Her transformation was not just physical. Yes, she had shed her excess weight and was healthier than she had ever been, but the change ran deeper. She had transformed emotionally and mentally. She had discovered her inner strength, her resilience. She had learned to love herself, to respect her body, and to prioritize her health. She had become an inspiration, a beacon of hope for others who were struggling with their own weight issues. She had shown that it is possible to break free from the chains of obesity, to live a healthier and happier life. She had proven that with determination and hard work, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Her triumph was a testament to her indomitable spirit. It was a celebration of her success, her achievement, and her transformation. It was a testament to her belief in herself and her refusal to be defined by her past. She had transformed herself, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. She had won her battle against obesity, and in doing so, she had gained so much more. She had gained self-confidence, self-love, and most importantly, freedom. She had triumphed. Her story is not just about weight loss, it's about the power of determination. Let's take a moment to reflect on this remarkable journey. A journey that wasn't just about shedding pounds and inches, but a voyage of self-discovery, of transformation, of rebirth. It's a story that unfolded on the treadmill and in the kitchen, but its essence lies in the heart and mind. It's about a woman who found herself amidst the sweat, the pain, and the struggle. A woman who discovered her inner strength and the power of her own determination. This story is a testament to the power of change. But change didn't happen overnight. It was a slow, relentless process that required patience, perseverance, and a whole lot of grit. The path was steep, rocky, and full of obstacles. But with every step she took, every hurdle she overcame, she became stronger, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. The first lesson we can take from her journey is that change begins with a decision. A decision to break free from the shackles of the past, to challenge the status quo, to step out of the comfort zone. She made the decision to change, to take control of her life, to choose health and happiness over comfort and ease. The second lesson is about belief, believing in oneself, even when the odds seem stacked against you. She believed in her ability to change, in her power to transform her life. She had faith in herself, in her strength, in her determination, and that belief fueled her journey. It was the wind beneath her wings, the fire in her belly, the light at the end of the tunnel. The third lesson, and perhaps the most important, is about resilience. She faced setbacks, she stumbled, she fell, but she never gave up. She picked herself up, dusted off the dirt, and got back on track. She showed us that failure is not falling down, but refusing to get up. And finally, the power of determination. She showed us that with unwavering determination, with an unyielding will, one can move mountains. 
She proved that when you set your mind to something, when you're determined to achieve your goals, there's nothing that can stop you. Her story is a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of determination, a reminder that we are the masters of our fate, the captains of our souls. It's a story that inspires, that motivates, that gives us the courage to dream, to dare, to do. So as we reflect on her journey, let's remember these lessons. Let's remember the power of change, the importance of belief, the resilience in the face of adversity, and the indomitable spirit of determination. Change is not just possible, it's within our grasp if we have the courage to reach out for it.